Hi, this is Namita from Information Science and Engineering Department studying at Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering. So the topic of this video is wireless power transfer for microcontrollers that is WPT. The overview of this video is introduction to wireless power transmission that is WPT, history of WPT, varieties of WPT at its advantage, disadvantage, need of wireless power transmission, their application and its future scope. Introduction to WPT that is wireless power transfer. Efficient transmission of electric power from one point to another through vacuum or any atmosphere without the use of wire or any other substance. Wireless power transfer can transport power to location which are not possible or impractical to reach. Firstly, what is wireless power transmission? When we need to transfer power or any kind of energy, we usually use wires or some medium. But wireless power transmission in the word itself describes that uh, power can be transferred wirelessly. History of WPT In 1899, Nikola Tesla Pioneer of induction technique had a vision for another world wireless system. A 187 feet tall tower was built to broadcast energy and for his study of the use of high voltage, high frequency electricity in wireless power transmission. This is the 187 feet tower uh, was built so that people can have access to free energy. They managed to light 200 lamps from a distance of 40 km. Tesla used it for only one year until 1900 that is 1900 but then it was torn down in 1904 to pay his debt. Varieties of WPT Wireless power transmission has two kinds near field technique and far field techniques. Each of them have another two kinds that is inductive coupling in near field techniques and resonant inductive coupling in near field techniques and in far field techniques microwave for uh, power transmission that is MPT and laser power transmission. How WPT works? How powerless wire transmission works? In order to transmit power wirelessly, a source and a receiver is required. The source and receiver must be in resonance condition. That is, the natural frequency of the two systems must match the transmission coil forward by an electric source produces a magnetic field around. When a second coil is connected to the receiver, it induces in the same field with the same resonance frequency. Electric current flows through it. We must all have heard about this principle which is known as electromagnetic induction. Electric ve electrical vehicle charging. One of the recent application of wireless power transmission is electrical vehicle charging. Example, electric car is such a system that the distance between the transmitter and the receiver is minimum. So it is called near field wireless power transmission system. Wireless charging system for an electric car includes two parts, a charging plate which sits on the floor evenly underneath the floor and the power receiver which is built onto the car. Both of them need to be within a certain range to facilitate charging. Near field wireless power transmission system are of two types, inductive capacitive charge. Inductive wireless power transfer uses coils that are coupled through magnetic fields while capacitor wireless power transfer uses the plates that are coupled through electric fields. In both cases an electronic unit is present which compresses of the high frequency inverter and rectifier with semiconductor device. This is enabling technology. Inductive coupling. This is the inductive coupling. Primary and secondary coil are connected with wires. As you can see here, primary and secondary coils are connected using wires. Energy transfer is due to mutual induction. It is due to the induction between, two, to, between the two coils. Example, transformer wireless charging pad. As you can see in this image, the phone is kept on the charging pad and uh, it is kept wirelessly and the phone is getting charged. On a wireless charging pad, the device are to be kept, battery will be automatically charged. The charging pad, that is the primary coil and the device, the secondary coil, have to be kept very near to each other for the phone to be getting charged. It is preferred because it is comfortable and more convenient and there is less use of wires. Next, resonant inductive coupling, that is RIC. 
RIC is a phenomenon with inductive coupling in which the coupling becomes stronger when the secondary that is load bearing side of the loosely coupled coil resonates. Resonant inductive coupling are used in wireless power systems for portable computers, phones and vehicles. Combination of inductive coupling and resonance. Resonance makes two objects interact very strongly. Inductance induced current. Next, microwave power transmission that is MPT. Transfer high power from one place to another. Two places being in line of sight usually. A complete MPT system consists of three essential parts. Electrical power to microwave power conversion. Absorption antenna that captures the waves. Reconversion to electrical power. AC cannot be directly converted to microwave energy. So AC is converted to DC first. DC is then converted to microwave using magnetron. Ma transmitted wave are received at retina which rectifies gives DC as the output. DC is converted back to AC. Laser power transmission. Laser is highly directional co and coherent. Not dispersed for very long but get attenuated when it propagates through atmosphere. Simple receiver. Photovoltaic cell cost is also quite efficient. Needs of WPT that is why is WPT wireless power transmission required? It is reliable. It is environmentally sound efficient. Low maintenance cost can be used for short range or long range also. Advantages of wireless power transmission. Uh, there is no wire that is no wire. No e-waste. No, not much waste is pro produced. Need for battery is eliminated. Efficient energy transfer using RIC. Maintenance cost is less and there are also disadvantages of wireless power transmission that is distance coherent. There is limit in the distance. Field strength have to be under safety levels. Initial cost is high. Like the maintenance cost is low but the initial cost when we are upgrading it, it will be a bit high. Applications of wireless power transmission. Near field energy transfer, electric automobile charging, Consumer electronics, industrial purposes, far field energy transfer, solar power satellites, energy to remote areas can broadcast energy globally. Electric automobile charging like when we charge the cars and consumer electronics like charging the phones uh, wirelessly uh, as I told earlier and many other. Future scope. In future transmission will be without wires. It would be more efficient, low maintenance cost by high but high initial cost, better than conventional wire transfer. Energy crisis can be decreased, low power loss. In near future, world will be completely wireless. Thank you.